LSU fans have to wait until September 26 to see their Tigers, and Southern fans won't have their Jags until the spring. But the Southland Conference still plans to kick off Labor Day weekend. WAFB's Kevin Batiste was in Hammond this morning as the Lions of Southeastern prepare for a September 3rd trip to Tulane. While most college football programs look at a delayed or canceled 2020 football season, Southeastern began preparations for a football season that begins in less than 30 days. The Lions wrapping up their first day of fall camp this morning as they look to build off of last year's eight-win turnaround. I thought it was good. Yeah, the intensity was good. I think uh, because we the advantage that we had with the Zoom meetings in April, May, June, I think our knowledge of offense and defense was we were much further ahead than we were last year at this time. The guys returning, we're kind of using it as a learning experience, but you know we know what it takes to play for a conference championship. We know what it takes to make a run in the FCS playoffs, but it's in the past for a reason, you know. So we we just gotta worry about the future, you know, and take every day one day at a time, you know. We'll worry about tomorrow when it's here. Senior quarterback Cole Kelly enters his first year as a full-time starter after throwing and running for 10 touchdowns each as a backup. He'll have a ton of experience on the outside as the team's top three receivers in C.J. Turner, Javon Connor, and Plaquemines Austin Mitchell look to do more damage. To say the top three receivers coming back, and then we add like four or five dudes that's coming in that are actually really good. I mean, what we were second last year in offense in the nation, I think we could be first this year easily. We had some talent, we had some good players, and we got good players coming back. So it's all about us coming together. Our offensive line's got to come together as one. Quarterbacks, receivers being on the same page, running backs, everybody coming together. I think Greg Stevens and our offensive staff do a great job. So with everybody coming together, you'll see the production that we need. Reporting in Hammond, Kevin Batiste, WAFB, Nine Sports.